Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of Trials Rising. I played it on the PS4, it's also available on the Xbox One and PC. So to start out, like most Trials games, this doesn't really have a story to go with it. Admittedly, Trials Fusion had like this kind of underlying backstory to it, but in this one you are just a motocross rider type guy, or girl, and you are competing at becoming basically a champion, you are going around the world and competing in different events. So let's start with the audio. So the sound effects and voiceover, what little voiceover there is, is pretty much the same as any Trials game you would run into. It's a pretty generic motorcycle sound. But then you've got the music, which I gotta say, the music is very hit or miss for me. Then you've got the music, which is very hit or miss for me because there's a lot of really great licensed music that I enjoyed, and then there's a lot of licensed music that I was like, eh, I could live the rest of my life without ever hearing this again and be happy. But I gotta admit, at least there was a wide variety variety in music, so that's always nice. Now when it comes to the gameplay, the guy at the counter asked me what Trials is like, because I guess he had never played it, and I basically told him it's like Dark Souls on a motorcycle. Which is kind of a terrible comparison, but it's also an excellent comparison because it's very much one of those get good games, it's one of those games where you really have to become skilled to do anything eventually. It's side scrolling left to right, getting over obstacles, trying to do it as fast as you can with as few mistakes as you can, and by mistakes I mean crashing and restarting. And when it comes to that, it's actually really cool the way they do that. You can either hit on the touchpad, I guess it's a touchpad, I don't know what I've ever actually called it, but the giant button in the middle of your PS4 controller and restart the entire race from the beginning, or you can just hit circle and restart from the previous checkpoint. If you restart from the very beginning, it resets everything, all your progress, all your faults. If you reset at a checkpoint, that counts as a fault against you. And when you start the game at the beginner level, nothing's too challenging. There are honestly some races you can really get through with almost no adjustments. But as you go up to easy, medium, hard, etc., it really does ramp up the difficulty and it does matter what bike you choose and that even can alter the difficulty of a level. The first bike is kind of slower, it's very easy to manipulate, the second bike faster, a little harder to manipulate, and the third bike is Wow. It's always kind of been that way, but the third bike in this game, it's always tough to control that third bike. It tilts so easily, but it also allows for very minute adjustments that can be the difference between succeeding and failing. Next up, the controls. The controls work very well in this game. It's something you have to get used to, but it is actually very simple. It's predominantly just the trigger to accelerate, right to go forward, left to go backwards and stop, and the thumbstick to tilt back and forward as you need to to correct and adjust for speed and when you're falling, etc. Honestly, it all worked well. I didn't have any complaints with it. I really think they have kind of got that on a solid lockdown. And then there's the visuals, which is never really the most important part of these games because of the perspective. You're kind of far away and there's not necessarily a ton of detail in your rider or the world, but there is enough to make it cool and it is kind of an arcade game, so it doesn't necessarily need to be the greatest looking thing you've ever played. One thing they have added that is really cool visually is during the loading screens with other players you have your starting pose, at the end you have your winning or losing pose which is cool and you can really, way more so than any previous game, customize your bike and your rider. I basically got a mask on my rider and it was just like yep that's mine forever. But that being said I do like the backgrounds, I like the tracks, I like the worlds that the tracks are in, I think it's really cool. I think it's a good look for what they're doing considering that it's just kind of an arcadey fun game. So to wrap this up, I really like Trials Rising. The only feature that I found that was missing and they'll probably add it eventually was the tournaments from Fusion. I liked competing in those. Not that I was ever like excellent or the top player, I just enjoyed it. It was something that I really had a lot of fun with. That being said, if you want a really challenging, kind of quick arcadey game that's not necessarily gun based, Trials is absolutely for you. It's one of those get good games. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's also a great game. Like if you like podcasts, you can just throw on a podcast and listen while you play this game. That being said, I recommend this game. If you want a great challenge, absolutely go buy this game. Okay, so in the comments below, why don't you tell me what your favorite motorcycle game is? And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share, subscribe. Have a good one.